This playthrough is rated E10+. Well, back to the skies we go. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Bonham are here with the finale of Rocket Knight Adventures. In the last <laughs> episode, we went through the Iron Eagle and, and uh, the Crystal Caves and everything, and I'm not starting off too well, despite the fact I got here with, like, max, almost, well, not max lives, but quite a few lives, and, uh, oh, well, what can you do? Anyway, we're fighting the pig things, and we're trying to save the princess. And uh, the king helped us out in the last episode by getting us a big old cannon to get to the, to the Zeppelin, which... Don't we have a rocket pack? Wouldn't we have gotten there eventually? We know we have an infinite rocket pack, because look at this scene here. So, eh, whatever. <laughs> it, it's it's silly game mechanics. Let's just let's just leave it at that, shall we? So, so even if I die, at least I have a few uh, outs, because I've got four lives currently, and I've got my continues. Because what I did off-screen is I just purposely, like, restarted, because I knew I was going to have to restart anyway, uh, because of the... Man, we're getting hit by missiles all over. How many, how many missiles do these pig guys have? Sucks for you, dude. Um, but yeah, so I just read I just replay the game off screen to get back to this point with multiple lives. So try to max my potential out. So that looks like something out of Contra, like just the the out of the weapons or something else. Man, I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, those like whole having to hit the like weak spots on the machine. That was only well, not Contra. It's, I'm trying to think what game that's. Ah, try to charge into me, huh? You jerk. We got this. Ooh, nice. I don't know how many hits we could get on him, but... <clears throat> oh, I, seem, I just seem to be, like, found the sweet spot. That, or, that's what I did. Until that happened. There we go. Goodbye! Goodbye, pig man. Or pig. I guess he wouldn't be a pig man, right? Because... Well, except he's got... He's humanoid like a pig. I see we're gonna have some trouble here. Ah. Yeah, this looks like something out of, like, Super C or something, or, like, some Contra game or something like that. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just what's screaming to me, like, the design of this guy. I wonder if anyone who worked on Contra worked on this. Or, or maybe not Contra. I don't know. Something. Actually, the Sega Genesis era had, like, a lot of games like this, like, uh, Super Gunstar, or Gunstar Heroes and stuff like that, you know? Ooh, a free man. Thank you. That means danger. Uh-oh. I don't like that. Iron, iron pigs? Yeah, I'm not going to fight that because I feel like they're immune. Maybe not in the back. Huh, maybe I should have uh, been following them or something like that. This kind of reminds me of uh, the Battle Battletoads game where you like try to beat the uh, beat the characters to the bottom. I wonder if that's the same case. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Yep. So we are supposed to beat them to the bottom. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get, uh, get there before the... Because I assume... I think they insta-killed me, actually. Or at least I did a ton of damage, I'm not sure. There we go. Yeah. Thought so. Uh-oh. Um, <clears throat> run. Yeah, I probably should have had my um, thing started at that point so I could uh, blast past them. Whew. Um, game? Game? What the hell? I attacked the switch. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe I'm supposed to maybe I'm supposed to like rocket it or something like that, like rocket down into it. Huh, that was weird. Oh now it's okay, whatever. Cause I stepped on it, it didn't do anything. Hmm. Maybe I just got that like weird random glitch or something like that that occurred. Uh oh. Now we gotta drop down the level. And we'll get crushed if we, uh, we, you know, don't. Oh, no! I should have known that was going to happen. I, I knew it. <laughs> I knew that if I charged it, I was going to, like, ricochet back. But at the time, you don't think about that. You're like, no, I got to get over to the other side. And death. <laughs> death awaits us. Man, there go all my lives I've been hoarding up to this point. Nah, this is this is a room for, like, careful movement and not, uh, not jetpack as... As much as I'd want a jetpack, you know. Oh, we get a one land. Okay, well, that makes this... Well, if we can get to this part, it makes it more tolerable. Ugh. God. Really... Had to really, uh... Thread the needle, as it were. Okay. Oh, I should have charged for that final bit. 
I was I had a feeling I was gonna need it in one part because if I charged to it I would have uh, gotten to the um, teleport in time. But I'm just gonna keep a uh, rocket ready to go just in case. Even though I'm gonna be holding it for quite a while, but I'd rather have it ready to go than not at all. So don't want to want another instant like that. Uh, I I should have known. I, I think I I you know bits and pieces are coming back to me over the course of this, like remembering certain areas. I'm like, oh, yes, I'm supposed to charge here. You know, that type of thing. But it's all... Oh, Bright, I took... Oh, no, I forgot if you charge too long, it, it blows up. <laughs> I just... And that wasn't that long ago. That was like an hour ago or something like that that I told people that that happens, and I... Uh, my hubris. My hubris. That's fine. Like I said, it doesn't take that long to get through this. It's... <laughs> Should have known that was going to happen. Okay, I'll start charging after I get the one man. That's... Really? I thought I jumped far enough. Huh. Okay. Wow, that was actually surprising. I must have, uh, before I must have, like, jumped, like, right at a good spot to get there, but, uh, no, that thought, no. Okay, just gotta be on the, on the ball here. Oh, God. That's always so precarious, you know, you're just like, oh, no. Okay, I'll charge up for one minute, or charge up that for the... Yeah. Oh, whatever! I made that! Man. Okay, now I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> I'm like, no, I, I I made it before, why am I not making it now? You know, that type of thing, so. I mean, technically you could probably charge the jetpack to uh, get to certain areas quicker if you know what you're doing. But, I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm just a guy playing games, man. I don't, I don't know anything. Yeah, it's just really a case of just trying to get to that. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh! I made that! What? Oh, I'm really gonna have to just charge the, the pack or something like that to get, like, a decent head start or something like that. <laughs> wow, you can tell, like, when I'm having fun with the game and then when I start actually getting wrapped up into it to the point of, like, frustration. Like, you can just hear it, you know. It's pretty obvious, but still. I guess as long as I do it at the very end or something like that, I can probably... The problem is it's like getting a... Uh... Okay, just have to be... Yeah, just have to be smart about this. There we go. Yeah, see, that I just had to calm down and, uh, and focus, so... Okay. Uh-oh. What's going on? What's going on? Oh. I'm supposed to, I assume I'm supposed to control that, too. Wait, can I actually get to that? Nope. It's because of the way that the mechanics work. If you automatically drop. So I need to control that thing, so. Which makes sense. Okay. I assume I need to... Oh, maybe I'm supposed to hit it. Oh, I'm supposed to hit it. Okay. Gotcha. I thought I was supposed to... For weird, some weird reason, I thought I was supposed to jump to activate that for some odd reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Me, silly, silly. Silly opossum. Okay, so this is the test area because I'm going to need to be aware of this for the other stages. Yeah, you can tell this is like final stage area because of the... Uh, um, wow, it's been a while since we've had these gems. Huh. Good indicator of when I need to uh, stop and uh, change my... Trajectory. I don't know why you'd risk your risk your life to get like a bit of gems, but people have people have died over lesser reasons, I guess. Not bad so far. Man, that Sega Genesis chip, man. You, you can hear you can hear that thing blaring. I wonder if I'd gone up if I could have yeah, got a one man or something. Yeah. Oh well, that's fine. I'd rather not risk it. I'm, I'm just not too cool. I'm not cool enough for school. You know? Or something like that. I don't know. But I do like the fact, you know, risk versus reward type of situation going on here. Or if you know what you're doing, you can get you can get that one man. But I think I can survive without that. But we'll see. Uh-oh. 
Dark Knight, or whatever your name. Actually, I forgot what your actual name is. They explain it in the, um, um, oh, God. <laughs> well, then, I knew that was going to happen because I saw the door. I was like, you know what? He's probably going to try to tra uh, crush me, you know, and, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to end up having to continue this part, too, but, uh, <clears throat> oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Man, oh, I had all these lives, all those precious lives, and now they're gone. Kind of like my memories, and now they're gone. I don't know how, how fast he goes, but I want to at least get as much of a head start on him as, as I can, so. Oh, no. Ow. Oh. Risk versus reward, man. Yeah, if you can get too far enough, you can get that one, man. I kind of want to get that one, man, mainly because, you know, I'm, like, at death's door. I've only got the one continue. So I think if I was playing hard mode, geez, I'd already be out of, uh, maybe I should have uh, done the reflex version of that ability so that way I would have a bit of a charge. Oh, no. Dang it. That was that was not a good way to... There we go. Whew. Okay. Ah, we're in our own punching mech. Yes! Rock'em Sock'em Robots indeed! I've got this, man. Uh, take this! And some of these! I don't think you can... Actually, I think all you can do is do the, the loose punch. <clears throat> it's almost better just to wait for him to get into your line of sight. Ah! Really? Are you gonna move? Oh, come on! I, I, I thought it was that easy, but okay. Once again. But <laughs> I do like the Rock of Sock and Robots reference, if anyone get, knows what I'm talking about. So, man, that was an old school toy. <coughs> From back in, like, back in the 80s or something like that. I, I don't remember the exact time. I just remember it being an old toy. Oh, there's a uh, uh, banana there. Banana, banana. Who's got the banana? Okay, once again, with with style. Oh, we got an extra life because of all those uh, gems we collected, so that's nice. <coughs> Looks like he gets a little smarter after a while. At least it seemed like he was getting smarter, because he'll... Looks like he's trying to barely get out of my range. But, uh... Come on. You don't have any other weapons on that thing, dude. You're going to have to fight me someday. Ow! There we go. I have to kind of back up if, if I do that again. Okay, dude. We, we can do this all day. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, it's so we beat him. Whew. That was a tough level. But we didn't have to continue, so there's that, I guess. A fun level, but yeah. Definitely challenging in some way. Alright. On to stage six. There you are, pig man emperor. Is now is that the princess this time? Hey, all right. Uh oh. I guess we can't just leave with princess this time. We gotta stop the. D is that just a? D is that a, a pig egg death egg or something similar to like? A, what the? What are you doing, princess? Infinite flight. Heck yeah! Thank you, princess. Is that wait? Is that her? Under? No, no. I'm not gonna say anything. Anyway, I think that's the Death Star, which is what Pig and I... Anyway. Final stage. Stage 6. Can we defeat the Pig Emperor and save um, the world? Well, let's find out. <coughs> I think... <coughs> I think if I remember correctly, I don't know if it's here or if it was the previous stage, but at some point, um, if you're playing easy mode, the game ends abruptly at this stage, I believe. Uh, I think so. I'd have to look it up again. I just know on easy mode you don't get you don't get to the, the you don't get the full game if you're. Uh, <clears throat> now at least they drop fruit. Uh, but yeah, if you're you're playing ch ch children's mode, you can't. Uh, oh yeah, you have to be careful about these asteroids. Ow! Up oh, to shoot missiles. Man, these these pigs have all the tech. Man, if they only use if they only use the power of, of technology for good instead of evil, man, think about how this world would be be now if they were did that. But there wouldn't be any drama, no game if we did that. Though. Uh -oh. 
Oh, now they're not dropping a fruit. Great. Ah. Ah. Well, I didn't expect night. Night, uh, the space knights or whatever. Rom space knight? Nah, not quite. Not starting off too well with this level, that's for sure. Oh! Man, how many hits do you guys take? Yeesh. Yeesh. Oh, thank God. Oh, I only got to grab one. I think if, uh, depending on what you... That design looks like, um, you know, uh, uh, from Infinity to Beyond. Like the Oh, and of course the Dark Knight comes in and just like wrecks me. Let me guys have to redo this again. Yep. Yeah, I got a bit of radius action going on here. Yeah, hitting all the Produces uh, uh, apples for heals. But the, unfortunately, apples only heal a like a part container. Bananas are the ones that uh, heal like multiple spots. I wonder if that's uh, I wonder if that's just something they made up, or if, if they specifically chose that because it's uh, food for possums. I don't know what possums eat, so I haven't I haven't really studied mammalian. Uh, uh, animals and stuff like that re regularly. Not since school, so it's not something on my active uh, study guide. I kind of wish I studied or learned more in my older age. I, 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 like a lot of people, you start like get, you start getting like lazy in your in your ways. I know you can get like two or three if you're lucky. Ah! Okay, luckily we know your pattern, so you're not too too bad. And the game's pretty generous when it comes to the um, hit boxes, because like in any other game, that probably would have hit me, like the uh, the lasers. Nope. Yeah, they're definitely doing a lot better. Yep, now we got enemies. Yeah, if you hit the green pig thing, it summons dudes. If you hit the asteroid, it gives you. A... Yeah, they look like Buzz Lightyear. To uh, like the color scheme is. Oh. Oh god. You're such a dirt dirt dark knight. I thought I beat you in the rock and sock and robot. Apparently you survived. Uh oh. You're kind of more of an annoyance than the main villain when it comes when you think about it. So. Yeah. This guy's such a jerk. Uh oh. Yeah, not gonna get me. I wonder if we can actually defeat him, or if he's just more annoying than anything. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like, uh, you know, obviously, uh, he's obviously uh, like a, a, he's obviously an important henchman, but you would think he's designed to be, I think he is designed to be a rival, at least he is in the remake, in 20, the 2010 version, he's a, ah man, I, I should have waited to see if I could get a meteorite. Uh oh. Here it comes. What's going on? Uh oh. It's a space copter. Oh, okay. Cool. Insta kill. Great. Oh, at least it resets you here, but I've only got two lives left, so we'll probably be doing another comeback to this later scene, so. Oh well. Yeah, that's what I get for flying directly into pet uh, uh, the uh, uh, propellers. So. Are you gonna. I was like, are you gonna give me a chance to like? Uh, <laughs> oh, it's oh, it's one of these stages where you have to hit like, uh, like basically have to run around the stage, and uh, um, and hit each of the. Um, okay, I can't get that. Oh, what? What hit me, man? I guess I got hit by the rudder or something like that. Dang it! Okay, yeah, we'll probably be having to come back here. Hopefully, I can come back here with a lot more lives um, and uh, and properly beat this guy. But we'll see what happens. So. Yeah, we just have to basically, it sounds like we basically have to destroy each of his, like, like parts. There, get a few bits in there. And we'll have to do this a few times. I'm not sure how to hit these, those right there, though. That one's going to be a bit tough. At least I think so. Uh. Ah, whoa. Good. What do you got in this thing? We've gone to plaid. That's how you get those. <laughs> I was like trying to remember how you actually get to the other. Okay, where's he? Okay. Nice way to like get uh, enemies to appear. Oh, good. Oh, there's the there's the weak point. The the blight glowing red thing. 
perhaps you shouldn't have such things. Okay. Alright. I feel like he's gonna charge at me, so. Oh no! At least that wasn't an instant kill, but man, that did a lot of damage. Holy crap. No, we're slowly, slowly destroying it. Yep. I have to be careful when he, when he... Uh oh, whoa, whoa! No! <laughs> oh man. All right, I'll see. You. I I'm just gonna cut to when we get back to this guy again. So I'll see you all in a second. All right, we find ourselves back at the final bot or one of the final areas again, and uh, with a lot more lives. Let's see if we can actually do it this time. So yeah, I had a, I, I really had to like buckle down and try to like get those scores and gain all the one ups without like losing too many. So we'll see. We'll see if this is in vain or not. So. Doing not too bad at the beginning. So, ah. Well, luckily those things don't do a ton of damage. It's really that laser at the like when it, he splits apart and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> it should start teleporting here in a second. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what type of space age technology you guys have, but uh, it's very impressive to say the least. Man, like seriously, the, the pigs could like easily like. I don't know, save the world at like 10 times over with their technology, but they're just crazy mad or whatever. I don't know. And they can go into freaking space. Like, is that not like the ultimate, like, goal? You know, is? I don't know. I just find it funny, really, when you think about it. I was actually surprised I avoided that, frankly. You need, a, you need to raise up, dude, so I can actually hit you. Hopefully I don't have to... Yep. Huh. Seems like you kind of need to, like, egg him on to get him up here. Interestingly enough. There we go. Then you're going to split up here in a second. As soon as that happens. I have to be careful as soon as he, like, when he starts doing those beams of energy or whatever. Okay. I wasn't sure if those things could hurt you, actually. That's what I was afraid of the first time. I was like, uh-oh, I wonder if those things can hurt me, like, maybe. But that would seem pretty cheap. And the game has some cheap stuff, but it's not that bad when it comes to that, so. Uh-oh. He's a Transformer! Ah, crap. I, I took all that damage because he wasn't immune during that, that, that period. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I'll probably have to end up redoing that boss again. Oh, God. Didn't know that thing was going to chase after me, so... Yep, once again, into the breach. Yeah, this will probably take me a few tries to get through it, but... Uh, well, it's old old school Genesis, you know, and Nintendo, that era, so you gotta just take take your lumps as you get them. Oh! I think I could have gotten through that without taking a hand. Oh, well. Yeah, not much I can do about that. At least it prevents me from having to dodge around, but really, in the grand scheme of things, that thing isn't that difficult to dodge. There, I keep teleporting around, keeping the the you know masterpiece of all technology. And there we go. Blow that part up. Just keep sending pig, pig soldiers. Actually, I don't need. Actually, those look like Zeon soldiers from uh, Gundam. The design, even though they're supposed to be pig faces, but the actually the Zeon kind of they kind of do look pig like when you think about it. So. I better ah, I was not to take the hit, but luckily they only do one heart. Still, there we go. Uh -oh. Okay, cool. Yeah, do that, otherwise. Yeah, I can't believe I got hurt during its transformation sequence. Like, it, it, <laughs> you think they would be invincible until the final, until it's like phase or whatever, but nope, it, uh, when it transformed, it smacked me. I think it was when its arms formed, I believe. Okay, so we gotta avoid, I don't think I can, there's nothing I can really hit on him right now, currently, so, oop. now I have to avoid this thing. Luckily, it's just, 
Oh, now I can hit him. I wasn't able to hit him before, it seemed like. But I, only got, I was only able to get, like, one hit on him, though. What? Ah. What is his weak spot, though? Like, it didn't... It didn't seem obvious. Oh, I got too close to his arm. Dang it. Oh, that little... Oh, wow. I didn't even realize I was close enough to that. Holy crap. Okay, try it again. Um, yeah, that little ball thing, but it wasn't going red, so I didn't notice it at the time. I was like, wait, what did I hit? So... Oh, man. Yeah, just gotta grin, grin and get through it. Ah, oh, come on, man. Could just avoid all this if I was only good. But uh, we can't all be experts in this. Sorry, uh, like. <coughs> It's hard to really talk about like what to say or do just because I'm trying to focus on beating this thing. So now it's all about like um, focusing on this. Yet. And unfortunately, trying to make you know interesting conversation and trying to do an action game is a little tough at times. I'll admit. Yeah, there's definitely a skill to it. <coughs> People have mastered better than others, but bring down your chin laser or chin ball. That's right, I forgot he does that when, when you're too high. I can see why you'd want to destroy the the, the guns, because they keep shooting at you while you're trying to do this. But really, after a certain point, yeah, they can't even, they're not even able to target me. Yeah, okay. Just have to, really, uh, during that, like, his robot, or his Gundam phase, or you know, giant mech phase. I just have to be pretty far back from him because I keep getting hit by his, like, random, like, arms and stuff like that while I'm trying to be as far back as I can. Ow! This is probably the part where I start getting frustrated with my uh, dodging skills. Here. Man, you only get one strike during this. Oh! That was a one? That was a one-hit kill? Wow. Okay, I should have, uh, should have gave a bit more time, yeah. I may have to start cutting to when I actually get to his robot farm, depending on how many times I die. So, we'll see what happens, though. Man, how many lives am I gonna, like, squeeze through this this game, you know, just to, uh, for the final boss? Oh, ow! Oh, that does that much da Oh, I might just purp- actually, I'm just gonna kill myself purposely, because there's no way. I'm not- there's no way I'm not gonna get, like, a no-hit run in this thing. At least, so. Yeah, I may have to, uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Like I said, it, it, depending on how badly it is, I may have to just cut to a point where I get to, like, a no, or where I, where I actually beat him, um, which might mean, uh, uh, just cutting to it. We'll see, we'll see how, how, really, again, I was that close? Man, I had to waste two lives just because I was too close to the thing, which I didn't even think I was that close. I guess the hit, uh, hitboxes are a bit, uh, different than I thought, so... Yeah, this is probably the part of the game where I'm trying to get, like, that perfect run and not making a lot more mistakes because I'm trying to do that, which is probably not the way you should be thinking about that. So. Okay, I'm just going to... Yeah, I was able to beat it before, or destroy it before, but in this case, I'm just going to just ignore that and just try to not take the hits this time. Oh, what? All that, whole, all that effort, and I still get hit. Jeez. I'll admit it's a little it's a little frustrating when you do all that work and then you still get hit by that like minor little little thing. Oh, well. I mean I could not try to attack him and just uh um just try to do the initial job because initially I don't have to beat that thing to um un unlock its like gooey center, you know. Oh, oh come on! Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, we're, we're, I'm getting into frustrated territory now. All right, I need to survive long enough just to figure out the pattern, so I guess I can afford to keep going, even though I should just probably let myself get killed. All right. Now we can get to that part, well, relatively easily. Now it's just trying to survive uh, his 
because he's got way too many dangly bits on his uh, character model, so like there's so many chances to just get randomly smacked, and I guess hitting him takes like eight hearts or something crazy like that. It's insane. Like, I mean, I know he's like, I think he's supposed to be the final boss, so it makes sense that he's tough. It's just, you know, like I said, there's quite a few quite a few cheap shots that occur during this fight, you know? Especially him flailing his arms, which means there's more areas on him that I have to avoid, so. And unfortunately, I'm at that one heart stage, so now I have to, I can't take any extra hits, period. Oh, let's see, and I ran right into his arm, like, and I wasn't trying to do that either. I was trying to avoid that one thing, so. Oh, boy. Yeah, sorry to, <laughs> sorry, yeah, I'm, I, I haven't played this, like, boss that many times in my life, so I'm not, like, like that expert, like, oh, I'm gonna get it in the first try, so. I don't know why I'm not getting that, that one, that thing destroyed despite me doing it before. I think it's because I'm not matching the button like I was before, so. There we go. Yeah, in this case, I just have to kind of get to it just to bypass all the, all the extra uh, things going on. And then we got this glowy bit of doom. Yes. More, more, more. More eye of doom. I don't know why you keep showing us your glowy bits. But you're clearly invincible, so. Whew. Almost got, almost got hit there. That would have sucked. Yeah. Man, that guy shoots off quite a bit of, a bit of a uh, thanks, doesn't he? Okay, there we go. Time to go. Time to move. Time to beat this thing once and for all. Okay, we're getting we're getting to this where we're taking like no damage, so that's that's always a good sign. It means I'm I'm learning. I'm an, I'm a neural net processor. I'm a learning computer. Yeah, I know I've used that. I mean, I use that thing. Um, term a lot, but uh, eh, it's, it's appropriate here. It's appropriate. Now, if we can, for the most part, I can avoid these like beads right here. Um, it's really just like when when he shoots the the blue thing, I have to avoid making sure I don't hit his his uh, his arms. I think I've got this now. I think I'm in a good spot. I think. I say that, and then I'll, I'll make like a billion mistakes by the time this is over. So. Yeah, just I had to be I had to be careful about the wonky like. There we go. But too bad you only get one hit on him. I think he keeps doing this same pattern for the rest of it. I believe. We got this. I just had to. I just had to calm down for a second. So dying a couple times and forcing myself to to do that really helped. So. Yeah, sometimes like a lot of people will will get to that frustrated stage in, in gameplay and we'll start making like little mistakes because we're like that adrenaline's pumping and we're we have to. Oh come on, stop that! Thank you. I was like, no, don't tease me like that, game. Don't don't tease me like that, Marsha or whatever. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah, sometimes the like the, the adrenaline's pumping and everything like that and you wanna you wanna like get to him as soon as you do, but when you rush it you take like well, there we go, gotcha! Yes! Woo! Alright. Oh. Just had to listen to the music, so sorry if I get quiet sometimes just because I'm like, ah. Oh. I just love the soundtrack to this game. It's not very long either. It's like a 20 minute soundtrack overall or something, or less than that, so. I could swear that was the last area of the game, I guess I'm wrong.
Okay, maybe that's not the finale. Maybe this is the finale with the death egg here. I'm almost thinking if I want to take a break because I took so on that. So I think I will. I think I will make it this a four part. So sorry about the the lies and the at the beginning of the episode saying this is the finale. So the next episode will be the finale. Can Sparkster do it? Well, I mean, I already said it before, but uh, I think this death egg is going to need a um, the a hole the size of a womp rat to beat it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.